Hello and welcome to the bike check video of my 2024 Beta Evo 200. Starting with the controls, got Renthal four and a half inch fat bars in titanium finish. The Beta front end to me does feel quite a bit higher than a lot of the bikes on the market. Um, particularly coming to come in off a TRS so definitely didn't want to go any higher with the handlebars I'm also quite small we fitted the standard Leonelli lanyard to the bike just to help you have any big crashes uh, I've got a quick action a Pico throttle it's that alloy one which gives a nice light throttle action got some Jitsi trial grips which are particularly grippy they're also very thin so they give a good level of feel Jitsi bar ends that we've managed to modify so they pivot with the Apico alloy throttle we've actually wired the grips on as well which is a really nice touch if you can do it properly so it doesn't cut into your hands it means if you ride a wet muddy trial you're not going to have any problems with your grips grip slipping we have got some trick bits fork guards in the ABS plastic in red blend in well with the bike and give just as much kind of protection as the carbon fiber ones I'm also running Motormaster discs and pads on this bike they're a new brand to trials it seems to be giving like a really kind of strong break it's definitely kind of feels to be a bit of an upgrade a lot of people change the standard beta pads to Galfa red ones just to give a little bit more feel and also upgrade the discs as well. So rather than go from kind of the standard beta NG discs to Galfa, we thought it would be interesting to try a different brand. So yeah, Motormaster discs, they look pretty full on, particularly the back ones kind of, it's a FIM approved one so it's got a big surface area. So yeah, and they seem to be working really well underneath the radiator we're running one of beta's little mud flaps it's ideal for keeping the mud out of the radiator the beta rad cover is quite quick quick and easy to kind of you can easily pop it off and clean it um, if you're riding a muddy trial you can easily kind of tap it on a rock and get any of the dirt out it just helps kind of like the bike running a little bit cooler we fitted a bigger float bowl to the carburetor on the bike. Sometimes if you're running like a really like kind of long hill climb, a lot of the modern bikes can kind of starve of fuel on a real like kind of long third or fourth gear climb. So that just enables the bike to kind of have a little bit more fuel in the float bowl. Running Michelin tires front and back kind of change those from brand new There's nothing kind of really wrong with the Dunlop tyres the bike comes with a standard I just prefer Michelin tyres particularly around here where it's kind of very muddy we don't have kind of much rock and find that the X lights give the kind of real good levels of grip and feel really like how they ride in kind of all, all conditions little product that we make ourselves is the, the, the bush that sits into the airbox lid Underneath the rear mudguard we've also got the airbox protection flap, sits on top of the rear shock and also stops the mud and water from splashing up through the bike and ending up in the airbox. Rear suspension wise I've got the Jitsi dogbone linkage, they're quite a bit stronger than standard. I've also paired them with some Jitsi linkage bolts which are quite a bit stronger than standard. I've had a few problems of people breaking the linkage bolt where the dog bones join onto the frame and the Jitsi one's just a little bit stronger to alleviate that problem. I've been asked quite a lot why I've gone for a Beta 200. Basically I feel that a kind of a weakness of my riding is not being aggressive enough and I feel with like a lot of the bigger CCs you're the, the bike you're not scared of it but it's, it's quite hard to keep up with them and because of that I kind of maybe don't open the throttle as much as I should kind of kind of trying to ride things kind of keeping in the bike under control compared to with a smaller CC CC like a 200 I feel I can be more aggressive and the bike won't jump out your hands and, and get away from you like the bigger CCs can to be honest, I've I, you don't 
necessarily have to ride it that much differently to a bigger CC bike. You could, you know, it kind of still pulls the higher gears and it seems a very, I, f I found it quite easy to, to immediately get on and feel quite at home with it. Kind of beta wise, they also pick up a little bit sharper on the bottom end, the 200. So they're a little bit easier for kind of flicking and hopping around. Feel a little bit lighter. They haven't got the, they haven't got the big flyer weights like the 250s and 300s do. So yeah, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Feel it's kind of will help that weak spot of my riding of kind of not being aggressive enough with the 200s. Is kind of feel that. You know, you need to give it the power to get up the step. So, you know, rev it flat out compared with the bigger bikes. It's if I rev it flat out, it's almost, you know, feels like it can get away from me a little bit. Also, being fairly light, you know, feel, you know, myself. I've probably got a similar power weight ratio to a lot of, lot of kind of heavier riders. Suspension wise, I've actually been very fairly light. I've turned, I've gone two spring, two full revolutions softer on the rear shock spring. It's the standard spring, I'm about 72 kilos. So yeah, I've gone two full revolutions there to soften the back end up. I actually found the forks were actually a little bit kind of too soft. So I've actually wound the preload on those in by kind of three full resolutions on the on the adjust on the adjustment just to kind of a standard i thought they were botting them out quite a lot um it's, and that feels like a good setup for me we've also fitted a sfs airbox hose that allows you to be able to get the carb off really easily it just slides back it's much more flexible than the standard hose it's a type of modification that you know if you've got a beta if you've got a beta evo stick one of those on it's only a tenner and makes a massive difference to how easy it is to kind of clean your carb so we fitted a bvm front number board to this bike we've really gone to town on the electrics and wiring and rather than run the rectifier on the back of the number board we've actually moved it to down under the seat kind of between the air box and the rear shock absorber it just makes everything look a little bit neater and tidier you know i'm planning to do some of the s3 nationals this year so you could run a hebo fuel tank on the front of the bike without having it any problems oh yeah and it's actually got my name on it because Jitsi Bay kindly sent me some stickers so I'll be able to know it's my bike so being a 200 the silver forks give it away a little bit as well So if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? And if you enjoy our channel, feel free to subscribe. It really helps our channel grow and gets it out there to more trials riders.